Hi, I've been asked by a few people to just run through the details of this forge. Most of the people have been using a bottom blast forge. This is what we call the English side blast forge, which is water cooled as well. This part here is the chew iron, this is the blast hole. So um, these are the two main parts. So of in, in the hearth there we have the blower underneath which when it starts up it will blow the air back through here under the forge to through in into this box here what we'll call box this takes the air up through a slide valve in into the forge but it comes up through here through this tube and takes the air through um, in the here. This in turn is filled with water between the two inch pipe that's inside here. There's a one inch blast hole there. But in, in turn, this pipe, this cast piece here, steel piece here, is filled with water. So it keeps this area cold or cool and stops it from overheating, melting, and it keeps it really well. But back here, the Bosch is filled with water and uh, that it keeps all that cool. So we've now got the slide valve here. This lets the amount of air into the forge there and you can regulate the amount of heat into your forge. Like this. So if we go back round here, this is filled with sand or ash. Always keep this bottom here filled with something to insulate and it will keep your fire in check. So um, you don't really need to clean it out much because when your fire is burning your clinker will come down, all the impurities in your fire will come down and collect here under the chew iron. The fire never goes any lower than the bottom of this chew iron here. So you've got your air coming straight into it. Any impurities go down through your fire and will build up here in a shape just like my hand. When you're actually using it, you can get an ash rate under it and you can gradually hook it out. So you can leave your fire intact so you don't lose any time making horseshoes or if you're doing iron work or whatever. But that's the beauty of this, you keep a good clean fire all the time. You can build your fire right up here. I mean, you can get bars through it, you can get into it always. You can put half a dozen pieces on it. You can do whatever with that fire. And um, that's about the first part of it, really. I'm just going over to a fire now that we had burning earlier. That, uh, we were actually making chew irons on it. So, we, we made a few of these this morning, it was burning for well over two hours and um, I'll just show you, uh, I mean there, there's no clinker sticking to it or anything but, but I'll, I'll just pull this out and this, will, this is built up under the fire, it haven't if you wriggle that about slowly when the fire is going you can actually bring it out through the front here but uh, still a bit warm yeah cool yeah that's warm all right and um, see that all the ash have stuck to it as well so when you start to move the ash out see look at that that is pretty clean down in there look You've got the lot to everything. The ash is stuck to it. You don't need to clean it out. If you want a bigger fire, when it's going, you've got your fire here, pull it back. We'll give it away, like that. That's all you've got to do. I mean, when you think we're making these, oh yeah, I've got a bit of plate here at the moment, but that's a big bit of plate. But when we go on to the next size chew iron, that is 16 inches long, and whatever wide, 
that is on here you, you, we have a fire that big but um, the beauty of this forge is you don't have to clean it out much at all it stays pretty clean with a, with a bottom blast obviously you've got all those problems with the clinker and whatever but um, this is something that several people have asked me just to explain but that's the best I can do at the moment um, we hope to be making a far better video to explain things in a bit more detail a little bit later on but I will say this chew iron here I'm going to put this in that has been in here 12 years now that is steel 12 years I made over six 600 is it now? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's got to be huh? over 600 with that one look that is steel that is a 30 mil plug I put in the end there and that keeps beautiful that there's not a bit of burnt on there or nothing so anybody want to come in the workshop and see that they're more than welcome but a lot of people won't believe that steel chew iron is any good I've been told that time and time again but this will prove them wrong right that's it then